Um, it, it's it's become a little bit more thoughtless over time, but initially, um, you know, again, our, that minor manager I spoke about, Shane Purcell, had had this um, coaching cue of watching the O'Neill sign into your, into your hand. So you're basically, you're looking to see can you see the O'Neill's writing on the football, um, and if you have that acute level of focus on something um, and you're watching it all the way into your hands, uh, it, the, the catch tends to happen quite naturally. And it was something I used to focus on a lot um, when I was younger. Um, and you know, now I don't have to think about it as much. Mm-hmm. Um, now the, the probably the main um, kind of the coaching aspect or, or, or cue that I use for going for a high ball is to like, I find, I find with a lot of players and myself as well that um, it's quite a vulnerable position to put yourself in to jump into a crowd of bodies like that. You know, you're you're putting your op- opening yourself up to being hurt basically, and it's almost it's a it's a it's a mental challenge to tell yourself to go as hard for the ball as you possibly can. Um, mm-hmm. So that's when I know when if, if I'm running towards a, a catch, if I'm not standing under it, um, I always tell myself to you know go go hard as possible for this ball, and because um, you, you almost feel like someone in the contest won't go as hard as they should because they'll have that little bit of fear of getting hurt and as yeah. and I always tell myself yeah. right don't let that be you make sure you're the one that goes as hard as possible to into the contest um and that usually helps me in terms of getting getting to the ball first you know obviously if, if everyone goes hard for it it'll just it'll just break but at least you broke even uh, and you didn't let them catch it so and um, that's what I tend to tell myself anytime I'm jumping for a high ball.